Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rainbow and I've got a neurological condition called Tourette's and today I wanted to talk about my journey with said Tourette's. Um, basically the timeline and what happened to get my diagnosis and everything. Um, so let's just begin. The first ticks we can remember were when I was five to six to seven. We're not really sure, but it's around that age. Um, and it was a the first one was a cough, um, it kind of sounded like this, <coughs> but a, a bit different, but we didn't know it was a tick at, a t at the time. I slowly started developing different ticks, eye rolls and eyebrow wiggling, until eventually, uh, about 2020, um, so last year, I had a couple of ticks that we actually noticed might be ticks. So I had a tick that went like that. If I was holding something, it would go like that. So glass of water or something would just go flying. Um, and I had a, what looks kind of like a really, really, really aggressive shiver, but it's not a shiver. Um, and it shakes my head like this and my whole body. Um. <laughs> we went to a psychologist about said uh, movements and cunt you're a fucking cunt they said that it was possible that it could be related to my anxiety but they weren't quite sure i think i developed two or three ticks after that um but it was staying pretty chill until february of 2021 when i had my first tick attack me i was meowing a little bit in class but we didn't really take it as much i kind of just passed it off as i was in a weird mood my tarantula had recently m m molted and fuck you um my tarantula had recently molted and so i brought in a pair of his fangs um <laughs> uh to school to look at them under the microscope and that day uh that afternoon when i came home about three o'clock my mum said did you get to look at your fangs and my t and i ticked and went <laughs> The tick attack then started and we ended up going to the hospital because we didn't know that I had ticks at that point except for the little ones that we had noticed. Um, mm, 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 mm. The hospital sedated me and sent me home and in the next couple of days we went to the GP who put me onto a med that I won't name because I don't want to put anyone off of certain meds or onto certain meds because of my personal... Um, opinion on them after this tick attack that's when my ticks sort of ramped up so the gp put me on the med and personally it didn't really work for me um, but we went and saw my pediatrician a little later um and she sent me to uh she sent me to the hospital again to get me tested for something called pandas i don't really know much about it so definitely do your own research but <laughs> Pandas, from what I know, is an infection that can cause ticks um, or present similarly to Tourette's. Um, but all the tests came back negative and uh, we ended up getting sent home. I think about a month has passed now and it's now like maybe March now. I'm not sure. It's either March or at the end of February. And I had my first ever rage attack. This rage attack was our first ever one that we've ever dealt dealt with, so we were pretty like shaken up by it, um, and it uh, was very very uh, intense. So we ended up calling an ambulance, who ended up giving me a heavy sedation and sending me to a different hospital to the hospital I went to before. They kept me in for a little bit and then released me. A little bit later we ended up going back to the hospital because we just weren't coping with the ticks. We were told that they were ticks at this point. But we weren't told any kind of coping mechanisms. We weren't told how to um, deal with ticks. We weren't told how to act around them. That's when I was put on a different med. This med actually worked. However, even though you have meds you can still have tick attacks. So I ended up having a tick attack. This was definitely in March. Went to the hospital because I had a concussion. But basically, basically I fucked your mum and left. 
no. <laughs> this wasn't a very nice trip. They decided to take me off of the meds that were working and onto the meds that weren't working. And I ended up having a, another rage tick attack. And I did a fair bit of damage. And um, they sent me to a psych ward. At the psych ward, the uh, psych team took one look at me and said, no, you're a neuro patient. However, if you leave now, you'll be put onto a possible year-long wait list and you won't be seen for ages. However, if you stay in the psych ward, you will be seen much, much, much quicker. So I stayed in the psych ward for about a week. Um, what? You're a cunt. And then the neuro team saw me. They decided that before doing anything, they were going to do more testing on me. They tested me for pandas again. They tested my, uh, me for an EEG. Uh, uh, they tested my heart, I believe. They tested um, my, like, if I could walk straight and all that sort of stuff. My, my, you know, more, blah, 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 blah. Neuro obs, basically. Um, everything but the ticks were normal. That's when they asked if we've ever experienced ticks before. We did talk about the ticks that I was experiencing in 2020, but then we slowly started realizing through watching old videos of me doing normal things, like singing or you know running or something, and we noticed that I would roll my eyes constantly and I would cough a lot and I yeah, I was wiggling my eyebrows a lot and I would randomly smash my hand on the table and um, we showed these to the neuros and they said those are ticks and then they gave me a Tourette's diagnosis. What? what you need for Tourette's is you need two motor ticks, one vocal tick and you need to have it for at least 12 months. I was given new meds, they completely changed my ticks and made them so much more bearable and easier to you like do stuff with so like if you think of this but like way way worse that's what my ticks is like unmedicated those meds were what made my ticks what they are today which believe it or not is much more bearable than when they first started and that's my journey i was also wanting to ask if anyone could if you have any questions and if you do please put them in the comments because I'm wanting to do a Q&A and I will try to answer as many of them as possible. I will wait until I have enough questions and then I'll do the video. I also wanted to mention that in every video I leave my di a discord server link where my discord server is. I do a lot of polls and stuff over there for what you guys want me to do and you can put video requests and whatever you want in there. I also leave my TikTok channel and my Twitch channel in there, so go check those out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, bitches. Bye.